Pivot tables have only some basic inbuilt calculations in them which are sum, average, minimum, maximum and some other basics like that. So once we have our general ledger or trial balance and we drag down our amount column of general ledger into the values section of pivot table, these are the only basic calculations that you can do. But in accounting and finance, we need advanced calculations like we need profits, profit margins, return on investment and many other different financial ratios. Well, that is possible with advanced formula language of Microsoft Excel that works with pivot table which is called DAX. Here you can see that in my general ledger I have a single amount column and for each of these entries I also have the territory key and the account key. Now using this single amount column I would be able to calculate the gross profit, sales, net profit and all other values using DAX. Let me show you how I have done that. So if I go here on the insert tab and add a pivot table from data model which means that I already have done the data modeling and I have applied the power pivot now. So if I just show you now here if I drop down the country in this uh, rows now if I take you to my general ledger you will see I have so many fields. So you have the amount but after that you can see you also have the sum the maximum net profit cash flows and if you scroll down you will see many other values like EBITDA and operating profit profit before interest and tax and all of these values now I just want to demonstrate you sales for now so I'll bring in the sales and now you can see that from my single amount column my system has only calculated sales for all of these countries similarly if I want to bring in the gross profit I can do that as well now you can see we have different values of course because this time this is only gross profit and similarly if I want to bring in the GP margin I can also do that as well. So a single amount column now has all of these fields which have been you know calculated for us and this has been done behind the scene formulas by uh, using DAX. What are these let me show you. So first of all let me take you to the power pivot uh, you know here power pivot tab and let me show you the measures and once I click on manage measures this will open the list of all the measures that I have so you can say these are the DAX formulas we call them measures so for example if I want to show you the sales formula I'll click here and I'll say edit and now you can see this is the formula a very simple formula that I have written which says calculate sum of FTP this is another measure that we have defined in the background but the second thing that we need to notice is we are applying the filter that only where subclass in the chart of accounts is equal to sales. So wherever we have defined our chart of accounts we are hard coding it here that only use sales from the subclass to calculate this value. So this way I would ensure that my fi final answer is always the sales from that amount column. Now the key thing to notice here is this formula language that I have used here is called DAX. Now with the invent of chat GPT writing DAX has become even easier but you definitely need to know the basics of DAX to be able to you know give the right prompt to chat GPT so that chat GPT can write the answers for you. Now to start learning DAX and power pivot you can use the link given below in the description uh, to learn the fundamentals of uh, power pivot and DAX and then if you are interested there is a complete course for you that is available on Udemy and then that is definitely a certificate course so if you are interested you can also join that as well